So it's hard because each student is so different. We really try and focus on the career, so where they, what they want to do with their lives, and then trying to find the education that fits. They don't really know what to do. I would say start off at least at a, a two-year um, and uh, get a feel for college life and those courses. I like to work with each student individually to find out what, what do you want? You know, where are you most comfortable? Because it's not a one-size-fits-all. They call it KDARS, and it's really the four, three to four years of science, three to four years of math, uh, math in senior year, also four years of English, and then two to three years of world language, along with the you know PE, CTE, art, those types of things. Challenging courses are um, good to show on your transcript. Um, it makes you a lot more competitive. And it doesn't really matter if it's um, you know two-year school, four-year school, military work. All students need to have those same skills to be successful at whatever they choose to do outside of high school. Community service or involvement, um, any type of leadership. And that leadership can be at school, it can be at home. A lot of times they have to take on that responsibility at home and that counts on their applications as well. Good grades, passing classes, consistency. And if not passing in the beginning, at least showing improvements. Well, they want to see a well-rounded student with good, solid courses. And what do you do outside of school? So resume is the first and foremost thing that I, that I ask them. You know, do you have a resume? Um, what types of things are on your resume? Uh, I also ask, uh, do they want the letter to be written specifically to um, the college that they're wanting to, or the, the employment that they're, they're, they're seeking? Or the, do they want a general kind of letter? Um, and then uh, specifically what the institution or employment is looking for. With letters of recommendations, we always like to talk to teachers about pulling out something that's different about the student, not the activities that's already listed on their application, but what makes them a standout in that classroom or maybe at home, what makes them a standout because of other experiences so that colleges and scholarship committees can really see what makes that student special. teachers, staff at the schools. Um, every high school has a career center, a college and career center. Um, there's also organizations such as Gear Up. They take you know, students on college visits and answer those questions. Also, with my organization, College Success Foundation, <laughs> we help and do the same things, yeah. We also have uh, Naviance, which has been so amazing, and it's like endless information. And that is just always available to the kids. Um, and they can get on there anytime and search for careers. They can search for colleges. They can search all kinds of stuff. Of course, I still have books in the Career Center that aren't used as often as I'd like. And college websites have really stepped it up that you can find a lot of good information. So they'll have their major on there that we can look at. And then it will say what types of jobs and, and that. So a lot of times college websites are good resources. And, ACT, SAT websites are good for students to look at, so. I feel like all of us are so willing to point and help point in the right direction for the kids. Um, being able to have all that information and be able to point them in the right direction and then for them to hold their head high and be confident in going where they want to go has just been pretty awesome to see.